Hey everyone, it's Will with Sondo Creative, and I want to show you how to make some cool neon lighting effects in Photoshop. These techniques all do a great job of adding a level of edge and intrigue into your photos, and if you're into like the cyberpunk aesthetic like I am, they're going to be particularly good at helping you achieve that look. Start by making a copy of your image with Command or Control J and converting it to a smart object so we can change it non-destructively later. Now with the copy selected, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And this is going to bring up this window with a whole bunch of ways we can punch up our image. And I'm just going to go rapid fire through all the changes we're going to make to it. Set your tint to 35, your contrast to 12, your highlights to 5, shadows to negative 40, whites to 30, blacks to negative 10, clarity to 35, and saturation to 25. Now that we're done putting in those values, let's have some fun and put in even more values. Go into Color Mixer and go to Hues, set your reds to negative 7, oranges to negative 10, blues to 10, and purples to 50. Go to Saturation and set your reds to negative 50, oranges to negative 40, blues to 50, and purples to 30. Go to Luminance and set your oranges to 20, blues to negative 25, and purples to 50. Last thing, go to effects and set the vignette to negative 25. And of course, this is just the settings that worked for me. You don't actually have to follow these ones super strictly, just kind of mess around with it and find something that works for you. And now that we're all done with that, hit okay. Now let's add some adjustments. First is a posterize layer. Set the number of levels to five and now add a threshold layer as well. Drag the slider all the way to the right and set its fill to 35. You don't necessarily have to add these two, but I like them because they make it almost look like a graphic novel. Posterize breaks up the colors into more distinct sections, and Threshold really emphasizes the difference between the light and dark areas, which I just like a lot. Now go back down here and hit Solid Color. Choose a nice purple or pink that complements your scene, and then set its blending mode to Overlay. Lastly, select your main layer again and go to Filter, Stylize, Oil Paint. Set the stylization to 5.5, the cleanliness to 4.5, scale to 7, and bristle detail to 7.5. Hit OK and we're done. Now of course your image could have been completely different from mine like I was saying earlier, but since we made this a smart object at the beginning, you can change and tweak anything that you like, so feel free to experiment with this one and find a style that works for you. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.